Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm using Hydra 1.0F to overclock my 50 sorry 5950X processor from AMD. Now as you can see the V group is around uh, between 1 to 2.5 or something like that. Earlier it was around 15% and I was not able to get good overclocking. Also the processor temperature was crossing 80 degrees to 84 degrees or something like that, even more than 84 to 85. And because of which the overclocking potential was significantly reduced. I am of course uh, using undervolting of 1.37 volts or something like that. So. Right now I am achieving around 4750 MHz, earlier I was hardly getting around 4550 so there is a difference between 200 to 250 MHz just by placing one fan, let me show you. So I place this fan on top of my PC cabinet, it's basically exhausting, let me show you, it's exhausting this processor fan, you know heat from top as well as I have one side fan. Now this fan is also exhausting the heat from the VRM uh, heat sink here, um, you know, this VRM heat sink. So I have placed the fan uh, underneath that heat sink so it is also exhausting heat from there. I have a couple of fans on the front. Um, you know basically pushing out air instead of pulling in normally the front fans push in air which I am not a great fan of because they push debris as well you know dust and all now this is my gigabyte 4090 gaming OC GPU so this these two fans I have put in reverse order so that it they are pushing the air which is coming out of this heat sink of uh, the GPU so that that air is not going inside the processor fan so it is exhausting the basically these two fans are pulling the air coming out of um, you know this VGA or the GPU actually and uh, they are pushing it out of the cabinet so the processor is not pulling so much of heat and plus the heat exhausted by the processor are being exhausted by these two fans and I am keeping the cabinet open because closing the cabinet uh, it becomes a heat cham chamber it significantly increases the uh, you know the heat of particularly some components like uh, the NVMe SSD which is here I hope you can see and uh, probably the RAM as well and the VRMs probably so keeping the cabinet open keeps the components cool thank you for watching bye bye